guys, welcome back to the channel and to another reaction video. Today we're going to be checking out actually two brand new trailers that just dropped for House of the Dragon Season 2. Okay, so they've been hinting on Twitter that they were going to be putting out a trailer pretty soon and lo and behold, they posted two, the official green trailer and the official black trailer. So presumably we're going to have one side for each side uh, in the conflict, which is interesting. Um, I'm going to watch them back to back. If you guys haven't been here before, I'm a pretty massive fan of uh, the A Song of Ice and Fire world in general. You can't see him because I have a giant hoodie on today, but I've got the I've got uh, Drogon, Viserion, and Rhaegal tattooed flying up my arm. I've been obsessed with the book series for so long, um, so I've been really into House of the Dragon so far. I was very pleased with season one, and I'm really excited to see what season two is going to bring. So we're going to watch uh, the trailers back to back. I think I'll start with the green uh, and then go to the black. Um, We'll see. We'll see if I say who I am supporting uh, or not, uh, or leave it up to, to you to figure out based on my responses. Um, but all right, so let's get into it. Here are the official green and black trailers for House of the Dragon season two. Here we go. Oh, oh, so we have a lead-in. I like how they're doing this. They have the dragons green. Many weeks ago, my lord husband was alive. And the realm was at peace. Mm. Is she talking to her father? His deathbed. He knew the realm would never accept a queen. Rhaenyra's supporters will believe what they wish. Oh, lord. But Viserys wanted her gone to succeed him. You're wrong, Alison! He just wanted to believe that, so his they words... Must now not for the good of the realm, but for the satisfaction of vengeance. I mean... Not against the, the king, and I will ended. pay it back a hundred times over. I'm as fearsome as any of them. Are you? You have no idea the sacrifices that were made to put you on that throne. My uncle is a challenge I won't come If he dares face me... Oh lord, that's we quite the showdown. We will prevail and bring forth peace. But you Ooh. must accept that the path to victory now is one of violence. Good. To war then. Yeah, because he's crazy. In my life, I've endeavored to serve both my house and the realm. And somehow none of it matters. Hold to your courage! One true king, Aegon! Oh okay, so that's the green. Time for the black. Oh boy. Oh. I'm with the black, black dragon, but the black has tinges of red. My father chose me, his firstborn child, to succeed him. He held to his decision until death. And yet, Alicent's son sits my throne. I mean to fight this war and win it. The realm will soon tear itself apart. Men do not remember the oath sworn to King Viserys and to his rightful heir. Oh. The high cows are marching. You must crush this beast at its head. Oh. Our terms are very simple. His armor looks so sick. Oh shit! The the Blood and cheese. Or your house burns. <laughs> Which is, I mean, Damon will have no problem doing for when you. The desire to kill and burn takes hold, and reason is forgotten. We'll not even remember what began the war in the first place. We fight for our queen! I fear what I've begun. Ooh. Okay, and so that was the black trailer. 
So I'm looking at these combined as more more teasers than like full on trailers, partially just because they're they're both just kind of little intros uh, with each side and where the side is going to be uh, coming into this season. And so they don't show you a lot, which isn't a bad thing, honestly. Uh, trailers giving too much away is never good. Um, we certainly got a lot of little clips of various dragons throughout this, which is very cool. Um, including some that we haven't seen yet in the show that I'm excited for you guys to find out more information about. Um, but okay. So, there's a lot of little hints at things to come. Again, there's obviously some serious battle scenes that are being shown here, not just in terms of dragon fights, but you see armies uh, moving against one another. Um, you see you see in the green trailer, you see Amund specifically talking about how he looks forward to taking on his uncle, Daemon, which I think that most of us can agree, whether you're somebody that has read the source material or just watched the first season of the show, most of us can agree. Those are the most frightening individuals on each side in terms of uh, sheer ruthlessness. Uh, and, you know, what what they actually might be willing to do, both on Dragonback or otherwise. Um, and that's one of the reasons that I think we see, we see Vagar quite a bit, and Caraxes as well is not a surprise. Caraxes is how we end off the second trailer. Um, so that that's not a surprise at all. We see a hint in the black trailer of Alicent and Helena going obviously to a funeral in funeral garb um i don't want to spoil anything but that's definitely i know what that i know what that means is going to be shown this season uh which i'm not surprised about uh and it's going to be pretty horrific and i'm really curious how they're going to play it out uh because without giving any spoilers away this is something a big controversial event that is described in the the various books um and people put the blame, or <laughs> yes, we'll say the blame for this event on various different individuals, depending on uh, who is talking about it, who they who they think is responsible, and exactly what played out. Um, and I'm really curious how the show is going to show that, and what they're going to make the story, because. The interesting thing about House of the Dragon and the text that it's based on is a lot of the texts are not being written from the point of view of the characters in the way that the Game of Thrones series of books was written from the point of view of the characters. Instead, they're written from the uh, by historical figures um, that are telling these tales. And so sometimes they'll talk about how there's conflicting accounts of things that happened. And that's one thing that they did with season one that everybody was looking out for and that was really interesting. The choices they made was because there would be things where the histories told things a certain way, but there was some debate. And then obviously the show had to pick, you know, what actually happened and say, here's what actually went down. Um, obviously one of the, the biggest of these uh, is at the very end with the death of Luke because they very much played that off as an accident as Amund was being a dick and chasing him and trying to scare him but he was absolutely not trying to kill him um, so he was not trying to full-on declare a start a war um, at all and that's that's not the story that a lot of people think <laughs> that the idea being a lot of people believe that he, in fact, did intentionally kill Luke. Um, and and so I'm really curious how they're going to play it off next season. You know, is it going to be immediate, like, obviously everyone is, is panicked and upset? Or is Amund going to try and play it off like he did it on purpose? Like, what is going to go down, actually? Yeah. And, and again, tying back into what I said with the mystery event, which I'm not going to spoil, it's another one of those things that I'm really curious to see how the show is going to choose to depict it because they're going to be picking a, a actual explanation of how it went down. And I'm just, I'm really looking forward to it. But all right, so the trailers are cool. I'm very excited. I wish it was sooner. I know it's only, only a couple months, but still, I'm impatient. But yeah, 
you guys let me know in the comments uh, your thoughts. How do you feel going into the upcoming season? What do you think about these two trailers? Which side are you on? Which side do you think that I am on based on my reactions? And thank you so much for joining me. Hopefully I'll see you next time. Bye.